Country music fans rejoice. The Country Music Hall of Fame officially began their rebound this morning, reopening their doors for the first time in six months. News Channel 5's Chris Davis joins us live with some of the changes you can expect. Chris. You know, Vicki, just like anybody else these days, as soon as you walk into these doors, you'll be expected to take a temperature screen. You'll also have to wear your mask the entire time you're inside and you will have to keep your distance between everybody. But we spoke to several country music fans today who said that's a small price to play to get back inside. For a place that celebrates how music brings us together for almost six months. A painful long time to not be here. COVID-19 has forced country music fans to stay away. We've lost $23 million in the six months that we've been closed. That is. Came all the way from Houston to be here. Until now. We're glad you're here. Country music's hallowed hall has reopened. Well, you can tell by the smile on my face, it's really big. The museum's senior vice president admits they had city approval to reopen sooner, but. Not only did we have to watch what was happening in Nashville, but we needed to see what our main drive markets and or other visiting markets were doing. Just like recording a country music hit, the timing had to be just right. We watched all of that, new cases and the transmission rates. Speaking of perfect timing. Playing tourists, having a little fun and checking out, out the area. Raquel and her Absolutely. husband planned a trip to Nashville long before the museum's reopening date was set. You know, we've actually uh, found the restrictions to be pretty minimal. Temperature screens, masks and social distancing couldn't keep her away from making this pilgrimage. My all-time favorite is George Strait. So as the exhibits reopen, country music fans will still have to stay apart. But because of the music, it's all worthwhile. We've tried really hard to reimagine and uh, move forward, knowing that things will be different, uh, but that the things that used to be will come back. Now, the museum is asking if you can to reserve your tickets ahead of time online with a designated time to come here. That way they can keep everybody spaced out, but it is not required. You can still for the moment walk in and get a ticket right when you walk in, but that's as long as the crowds don't get too unmanageable and they can still social distance inside. Live downtown, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.